Hi guys, this is Kelvin and you're watching Juan Traveler. Standing at approximately 3776 meter, Mount Fuji is the tallest mountain in Japan. Coming from Singapore, where the highest peak is Bukit Timah Hill at 164 meter, finding a good spot to view Mount Fuji becomes one of our to-do lists during our Japan trip back in 2018. At last, we decided to head over to Lake Kawaguchiko, rated as one of the best spots to view Mount Fuji in Japan. Lake Kawaguchiko is the most easily accessible of the Fuji Five Lakes. It is located in the border of the towns of Fuji Kawaguchiko and Minobu in southern Yamanashi Prefecture, which is near Mount Fuji. As a hot spring resort town, Lake Kawaguchiko has a wealth of natural resources, making it a popular tourist spot all year round. Since viewing Mount Fuji is one of the key highlights of visiting Lake Kawakuchiko and the best season to see Mount Fuji is during autumn and winter, it is also the best season to visit Lake Kawakuchiko. We stay at New Century Hotel during our trip to Lake Kawakuchiko. It is perfect for enjoying the autumn colors as well as provide a splendid view of Mount Fuji from the rooms. The hotel is just a 5 minute drive from JR Kawaguchiko train station, which you can commute via the hotel complimentary shuttle service. We opt for a Japanese style room, which features traditional futon bedding on the tatami floors to boost out the whole experience. More importantly, the room offers full view of the lake and Mount Fuji. We get to enjoy a hearty Japanese set meal for breakfast and dinner throughout the stay. We also get to dress up in yukata robes and enjoy hot spring bath with spectacular nature views. Overall, we do recommend to stay in New Century Hotel if you are visiting Lake Kawaguchiko. As mentioned, our main objective of visiting Lake Kawakuchiko is to enjoy the autumn colors and view of Mount Fuji. Hence, our first stop is to head up to Kawakuchiko Tenjozen Park. It takes only a few minutes ride on the Mount Fuji panoramic roadway to reach the top. We get to enjoy the rich autumn colors from the top of Mount Tenjo and the breathtaking view of Mount Fuji. Interestingly, there is a rabbit shrine on the top of Mount Tenjo. Next stop, we head over to the Maple Corridor. How beautiful is this place? I shall let the pictures do the talking. One plus point of New Century Hotel is that they provide us with free shuttle service to visit the Maple Corridor after dinner. From the Maple Corridor, we head over to take a stroll along the lake. If you are more of an adventure seeker more than a nature lover, you can consider spending a day at Fuji Q Highland, which is a theme park filled with multiple world record rides. What is interesting is that the entrance is free and you only need to pay for the rides.
There are various routes you can choose to travel to Lake Kawaguchi Code. I am just sharing the route that my family took during our trip for your reference. This is not a sponsored video, but I highly recommend you to use Hypedia to plan your long distance trip in Japan. It will show you the best route to take to your destination, including all the transfer required at their timetable. As my family traveled to Kabakuchiko from Osaka, this is the route that we took. It allowed us to make full use of our JR Pass. This is the recommended route from Tokyo if you are using the JR Pass. Do you know that you can see Mount Fuji while traveling on the Shinkansen? We have come to the end of the video. If you like my video, please hit the like button, share button, and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye!